Hey folks, do you have any idea what you're looking at right here? Okay, you're seeing leaves and balls, okay? These are the balls that come off of a sweet gum tree. Okay, I brought the leaves to show you what they look like. They're kind of similar to a maple leaf, but they're not. I have a big bowl right here. Folks, have you heard of Tamiflu? It's what you get whenever you go to the doctor and you've been exposed to the flu. You can make it at home, guys. Nature provides a way to make it. Simple. You just have to figure it out. And that is what I'm going to do today is show you how to make your own Tamiflu. Okay, I've gathered these sweet gum balls, and I've washed them very well. I've rinsed them multiple times. And folks, this right here is what comes out of these whenever you let them soak in water. So, you always want to soak anything like that to get all the bugs, little impurities, imperfections, and whatnot out. Okay. The main ingredient in Tamiflu is shikimic acid. These have that in there. You just have to go from this to a medicine. Okay, let me move the, the leaves and I'll show you how we're going to do it. Okay, as I said before, these have been washed. Okay, you can't just throw these in our jar like this. And expect to get the benefits from them. They have to be crushed, or at least broken, to get the uh, extracts out of the center. And as you can tell, they're very hard. Okay. They're not completely crushed, as you can see, but they are mashed enough on both sides to let the uh, shikimic acid start to come out. This is a very earthy flavor. It's a very fresh smell, like herbs. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in a half gallon jar. I'm going to continue working on these until I get this jar full and then I'll show you what our next step is going to be. Okay, this right here is going to be the last amount that it takes to fill up this first half gallon jar. I'm going to put them in here. But folks, it is very important to use the green ones and not wait until they are dry because if they're dried, you're not going to get the same effect. You're not going to get all that good acid out of there to go in the uh, Tamiflu. And you'll see why I did this in a, a half gallon jar, a half gallon jar, in a, a gallon freezer bag because this one is really thick and all this stuff would have gone all over the counter and I mean there's enough that got on the counter using this. Okay, so we put this aside, wipe my hands, and I have a bottle of vodka. Okay, one thing that you absolutely have to do is get a hundred proof. That way uh, it's strong enough to make the tincture without it going bad. And we're just going to cover this. I'm not sure how much of this bottle it will take. We're getting there. I don't 
of what smells stronger, the uh, sweet gum balls or the vodka. But together, it's definitely strong, folks. Alrighty, we've about got this full. And we still have a little bit left in the uh, the bottle. Not a lot. Okay. I'm going to mash that back down in there so that it's covered up. Okay, and what I'm going to do next, folks, is I've got a sandwich bag. I know it's yellow. The only ones I could find at Walmart this last time had different colors in them. Go figure, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to put this over here, and I'm going to put my ring on that. And every couple of days, I'm just going to shake it a little bit, just to make sure everything gets all stirred up. Okay, it needs to sit about six weeks, and then after six weeks, you're going to put it uh, through a strainer that's going to be lined with cheesecloth. Hang on, let me get you what I use. I just line this right here with cheesecloth over top of a bowl or a measuring cup. And then after everything has dripped through the, uh, the cheesecloth, then I just pour it into a smaller jar because you're probably going to have a quart or a little over a quart whenever you get done. It just depends on how tightly you have packed that. Okay. Now, I'm not going to make you wait six to eight weeks to see what the end result is going to be. Folks, this is what it looks like. I made this a couple of years ago. And... Let me tell you, it don't taste good. It tastes absolutely gross, but it works. This smells like, well, this tastes like turpentine smells. It is that strong. And you ask me why I take something that tastes that disgusting because it works. Let me tell you, whenever I feel a bad cold coming on or a flu or one of the other new viruses, you know what I mean, that's floating around, I'll take a couple tablespoons of this two or three times a day and out of about 10 times, I have only gotten sick with a mild cold one time. So I would much rather make this with some cheap vodka and some sweet gum balls that are growing on a tree that have to go worry about Tamiflu, doctor's visits, and getting exposed to something a whole lot worse than what I have. But folks, we're gonna have to go back to nature we're going to have to use what God put on this earth and figure out how to make it work. But thanks for watching. See you on the next video.